Hey guys, Ivan here, and this is Tampa Pro, Open Division, and let me tell you, <laughs> Dexter is destroying everyone, annihilating the lineup. God damn, I had no idea that he can look this good. I predicted actually Luke winning it. I said it's gonna be between Dexter and Luke, but it's not even close, honestly. Luke did not bring great conditioning, not even close, not even close. If he shows up like this to the Mr. Olympia, he'll not crack even the top 10. I don't know, I mean, maybe top 10, but like, honestly, I prefer Ian Valier here. Maybe even Hassan Mostafa. I mean, sure, Luke is the biggest guy, probably, pound for pound. He's packed, he's very thick, but he's not conditioned. He's not conditioned. I mean, Ian, he lacks a lot of body parts, and for that reason, he'll probably not place higher than, than Luke. But, you know, he's crispier. I think this is the best Ian Valier we've ever seen. And I think he's going to take third spot and Hassan Mustafa is going to be fourth. Of course, Dexter is winning it and Luke is second place, most likely. So as you can see, Dexter right here, he brought it. Man, he brought it. Considering the fact that his 50 muscle maturity is not a problem for him. His skin got very thin, you know, that's what happens with age. Your skin gets thinner and his skin is paper thin, basically. With George Farah in his corner, with Charles Glass with him in the gym, he, he brought an amazing package. He improved what he was lacking. His legs were smaller last year, and look at them now. Do they look small? <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. He had a slight imbalance with his arms, but it's still there. It's still there, but it's not that visible. And it doesn't hurt him at this lineup at all. At all. I mean, these guys have much bigger flaws. So Dexter's asymmetry with arms is basically ignorable. Unnoticeable, pretty much. And uh, yeah, just look at him. Just look at his body and admire it. So polished. So polished and so fresh. I cannot believe that somebody who is 49, in a couple of months, 50 years old, can look like this. And here you can see why Ian is not taking second spot, because of this pose and a couple of others as well. But Ian may be the freakiest guy in this lineup, especially when he does side chest, side tricep and most muscular. But when he does front lat spread, you can see a lot of space between his arms and his lats and his chest as well, and his legs also. And also in the front double bicep, it is just... No, not good, but I think this is the best Ian Valier we've ever seen. Um, on the other hand, you also have uh, Hassan Mustafa with the best set of legs in the world right now, period. Period, yeah, yeah. I'm being serious, the best quads in the world right now. Uh, on the hard left, you can see Lucas Osladil, who looks on point, as usual. He never really fails with conditioning. And you have uh, Milan Sadek, who is much smaller than the rest of the lineup, but brought good conditioning. Very good conditioning, so he cracked the top six. But as far as top two, in the middle, you can see Dexter and Luke. And uh, Dexter really brought it. He really brought it. And this is amazing. This is super exciting. I really love what I see. This man is such an inspiration. He's one of the best bodybuilders in the history of the world. This is gonna be his 29th win, pro win. Imagine that, winning 29 pro shows. These guys here, for example, Ian Valier, they're struggling to win even one pro show in a year. And look at him, look at how good he looks, especially in this pose, crazy. But Dexter won 29 of them, and one of them is Mr. Olympia, and five Arnold Classic titles. And he has a legitimate chance to win 2019 Mr. Olympia after winning this one. And imagine that, imagine that, his 30th pro win to be another Mr. Olympia title. That would be... That would be something special. And as much as I like Brandon Curry's physique, I would still be cheering for Dexter, because I would love to be a part of something like that. A part of that history. So I can tell to my grandkids, hey, kids, I used to have a YouTube channel back then when Dexter won the Mr. Olympia at 50 years of age. <laughs> I would really love that. I would really love that to happen, because that would be... That would be... Mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. And it's possible, it's really possible. Look at him, look at this man. Such an inspiration of a bodybuilder and such a motivation. And I can't wait to go to the gym tomorrow because of this. And Luke Sand, on the other hand, he kind of disappointed me, honestly. I mean, I expected him to come much sharper, but he didn't do it, he didn't do it. I'm honestly hoping that him and Chris Asito are gonna figure it out for the Mr. Olympia, or simply that he will have more time to diet, actually. I think he didn't diet enough. If he diets longer, from this point to Mr. Olympia, and comes sharper, he can place very well, because he has all the muscles, he is a little bit blocky, but if he comes peeled, conditioned, he can do great. I'm looking forward to that. But Dexter is the man tonight, Dexter is somebody who we should talk about, because 
he is making improvements at the age of 50. Nearly 50. I'm saying 50, but he's actually 49, but he's turning 50 in November. So he's basically 50. And let's just round it up and just say that he's 50 because he very much is. And uh, the problem of his last year were his legs, for example. But since the Pitbrook Pro guest posing, I noticed that his legs grew and no longer they are a problem. No way. His legs are top class now. Look at him. Look at the glutes, the hamstrings and quads. Upper body from the sides looks perfect. Um, back pose, very good as well. I mean, he has that maturity. He has a crazy muscle maturity. Very good muscle maturity because his skin is super thin. He has, pff, I don't know how many, three, four decades of working out in his resume, right? Something like that, <laughs> most certainly, which is crazy. And uh, how many years of competing? Almost, he's competing in four different decades. If he competes next year, there's going to be four different decades. But he started competing at 23. And I'm pretty sure his first show was 1991. So if he started competing when he was a little bit younger, and if he kept competing until 2020, he would be competing in five different decades, right? So one of the most consistent and persuasive bodybuilders of all time. And probably most likely in tonight's winner of the Tampa Pro. I'm pretty much sure. I mean, look at this. Look at this madness. Sure, he, his left bicep is a little bit smaller. You can take a look at here. It is a little bit smaller, but it's not noticeable. It's barely noticeable. You can ignore that easily. Maybe it's not going to be enough to win the Mr. Olympia because of that slight imbalance and because he's smaller than Brandon and Donak and uh, Rolly. But for Tampa Pro, easy win. I would say easy win. But it's left to see. We're going to see tonight in the finals. I'm going to make another video when he wins it. Not if, but when he wins it. And that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And I want to say thank you to Maximum Muscle Report or Condemned. I'm not sure who actually made this video, but it's a high quality video. So thank you very much because this video is really good. And uh, I'm happy to actually see some high quality footage. Once again, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it. And if you want to see more content like this, you know what to do. Subscribe. All the best, guys. Bye bye.